So today I'm going to show you how to add in FFA activities to your AET journal. Um, and we're back here on the practice AET, which is Charlie the dog. Um, so let's say that you want to add in an FFA activity. Um, a lot of the things that we already do, we like in our FFA meetings, for example, um, we sign everyone in. So some of those things may already be in your record book. If you want to see what FFA activities you already have, you can go to journal and you, go, you go to review journal entries. You click um, all and you can see all of the entries that you already have. Um, so for the year 2020, it looks like right here, this is an SAE hour. Okay, this is not an FFA activity. So let's say if I go to other FFA related activities, oh, I don't have anything for the year 2020. Um, let's say I wanted to look at all of my years, that could change here. Okay, if I was in a, um, a any sort of office, so chapter office, sectional office, regional office, those things would be here. Any FFA competitions that you might have logged in would be here. Um, if you were on a committee, you did something in community service, um, or you did another school activity, those things would be here. So any of the activities that you've already done should be here. Now let's say you want to add in, um, let's say that you went and did the sectional speaking contest. Now that is not something that automatically goes in your book. You're going to have to add it in on your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to journal, and I'm going to search here for the time entry that would match an FFA speaking competition. Well, to be time and competition activities, so I would come here. Now let's say that our sectional contest, I don't remember exactly when it was, was March 20th. You gotta find the date and I would put what the title of the activity was. And I'm gonna use capitalization. I'm gonna say Solano Alameda sectional speaking contest. Okay. And that is going to be, and I'm going to find the type of activity that it was. Let's say that I competed in job interview. I'm going to click that. This is at the sectional level, so it would be just above chapter, which is invitational. And then I'm going to click the skill area. What are some things that I did in that particular area? And I'm going to pick the, the, the standards that match the thing that I did in that FFA activity. So let's say that I'm going to model... It's job interview, so I'm going to model personal responsibility in the workplace and community. I'm going to come back, and it's saved and right there. Then I'm going to describe what I did in the activity. So I competed in job interview contest. And I didn't place, I'm just going to say competed in the job interview contest. I think I spent around um, four hours total in this contest, and then I'm going to hit save. Okay, and you're like, oh no, where did my entries go? Come back to this page. I want to review my entries. I'm going to come back to journal entries. I'm like, oh no, it's not here. Well, look, I'm in other FFA related activities. If I click all, I'll find all of the journal entries that I've done so far. And it's just lumped in here with my SAE hours. If I want to make it just to see what my FFA competition activities were, oh, that's going to be right here. Okay. Now, you'll see FFA meetings in here if you have them. Um, if not, um, if I want to add in something else that I did. Now, let's say that you want to add an FFA activity um, during quarantine, okay? You're going to come to your class page and you'll see, oh, FFA activities and info. And you click here, you're going to upload your documentation for your FFA activity here, okay? So you're going to upload, let's say, let's pick one. Let's say that I, hmm, I don't know. Let's say, oh, let's say that I did the, oh, I designed a new logo, okay, for um, our chapter. Let's say that I did that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload what I did here. So I'm going to upload the logo that I designed here. Upload a picture of it. Maybe I drew it, painted it, I don't know, carved it, chalk painted it. I don't know what you did. You're going to upload that here in Google Classroom. Once it is uploaded, you're going to come back here. 
You're going to go to your journal and you're like, okay, I want to enter in this activity. How do I do that? So it's not going to be in the classroom. It's not an AET project. It's not in community service. It doesn't have anything to do with parliamentary procedure, ag-related speeches, or non-ag time. It's not a leadership role. It's not a committee. It's not a competition activity. This would be in this slump here. This is probably where a majority of where your FFA activities in during quarantine are going to happen. Okay, it's other FFA-related activities. So I'm going to click this. Okay, and let's say that I completed this activity on today's date. I can come here and I can copy and paste the activity here, okay? This would be, it wouldn't really be in any of these things, so I would just put other. This would be at the chapter level. All of these activities are going to be at the chapter level. I'm gonna click it at the area that describes what I did. Well, I didn't really do any of these things, but, um, By valid voluntarily. I'm gonna click this one. No, maybe not. Um, maybe I don't have to add one in here. I'm not gonna add one in today because I don't think that they really met any of those things. So I'm just gonna describe it. Okay, and that may happen sometimes. You may go, oh, well, this doesn't really match what I really did today. But you could find one in there that relates to the activity that you did. So just make sure you're keeping that in mind. Um, so I'm just gonna be like designed new FFA logo during quarantine, because that's what you did. Let's say it took you an hour to do. I'm going to hit save. Oh, I'm back here. I'm going to come back to review journal entries. Oh, it's not there. Why? Well, because I'm still in competition activity. I'm going to go to all of my activities, and there it is. This is my other FFA related activity. I did this, it's, it's capitalized, it looks neat, the date is correct, and all of those things. So that's how you add in new FFA activities, um, something that relates to competition or it might relate to other activities. These will all be other FFA activities, but if you did something as far as a conference, a competition, like a field day or a speaking contest, that's gonna be in competition. Um, remember, um, if it's related to chapter office or sectional office or regional office, it will be here. If it is a field day or speaking competition, it will be here. If it is committee time and you served on a committee during lunch, it will be here. If you did community service, it'll be here. Um, this is non-school or this is school-related activities or non-ag-related activities. Um, these we don't really worry about a ton right now, um, but we'll get there. So that's how you're going to add in an FFA activity to your book. If this one isn't quite the best version of teaching you how to do that, let me know. I can help you um, or I can make a better video. So just let me know if you have any questions on how to add in FFA activities.